Lorin from Nairobi Chapel. On behalf of Nairobi Chapel and all the Trinity Chapel, we won't be able to meet, but we want to reach out to all the preteens. Our classes still go on, we still have our classes. Remember what you are to have for classes. You need your manual. I am, have my teacher's manual. You need your, your student manual and a Bible. So, I'm going to start off with this week's lesson, which is going to be Discipline 3. Uh, Bible study going deep. Remember, class happens as usual, as the way we do it here on church. We're also going to be doing it at home. So, today we're going to be looking at our lesson 6 on page, that's page 23 on your manual. So I hope everyone is there. And the discipline is going deep, Bible study. So, to start us off, we're going to tell a story. So maybe you're doing it with your parent, you're doing it with your brother, your sister. Let's start, just say a word, a random word, and give a story. For example, I can say market. So I give a story around market. So I want you to do that with your family, with your friends, and with your parents, if possible. I'm going to give you like five minutes to do that. Tell a story. It doesn't have to have anything, just say a word. The first person says the word and let's continue giving a story. Okay, I hope you have done that. So let's go to our lesson today. So our objective for today is for us to understand why do we need to read the Bible? Why do we have to have Bible study? Most of you are wondering, maybe this time you're doing a lot of Bible studying with your parents and wondering why is, do we have to do it? The purpose of this is to learn the truth for ourselves. Yes, we don't always have to have everything in the Bible, but we need to know the truth that we believe in as Christians. So. Today our reading is going to come from 2 Timothy 3.16. Please check out your Bible, go to your Bible, go to 2 Timothy 3.16 and read out what it says and make notes on your notebook as we go through this. So uh, I'm going to give you 10 minutes to do that, to read through the Bible and take note of what it says. So the second book that you're going to read from is Acts 17, 10 to 11. So I want you to read together with your parents, with your siblings, and then take note of what it says. So, yes, I'm hoping that you have read through. So even as we read through, I want us to discuss together at home, what do you think we are learning? What do you think the Bible says when it says that all scripture is God-breathed, as we have read in 2 Timothy? What do you think it means? So I want you to discuss, go ahead, discuss with your parents, discuss, um, what who do, you, who do you think the author of the Bible was and why he wrote the Bible for us? So as you do that, I want you to continue following the notes in your manuals. Remember, always have your student manual. And in case you don't have, they will be provided at church. You can come and pick. So go through your manual, filling, filling in the gaps as you go on. And then we go to the story of the church at Berea. We hear that they studied the Bible for themselves. Why do you think it was important for them to study the Bible? Yeah, I want you to discuss among yourself. Why do you think we have to, dis as Christians, we have to discuss the Bible? So I'm going to give you another 10 minutes to do that, to discuss with whoever you have at home, and then you can write and journal as you also continue. So kids, remember, the aim of Bible study is not to fill our minds with Bible knowledge, but to allow us an opportunity to believe what we find to be true in the Bible. So as you go through this lesson, for the purpose is not just to make you know and to fill you with knowledge, but to know the truth that we believe in and why Jesus and all the other authors of the Bible if, uh, uh, made it important for us to study the Bible. So on page 25, there are some questions that I want you to go through with your parents or your siblings. The first question is, what do the verses say? As we have read from Acts, and also we have read from Timothy, discuss. What does it mean? Who are the characters? What do they do? What lesson is there to learn from it? What is there to avoid? What is there to put into practice? So remember to go through that and even uh, discuss with your parents. Remember, there's no right or wrong answers. So for a memory verse, which I'm hoping that everyone will master, is from Luke chapter 5, verse 16. It says, but Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. So, even you at home, sometimes you need to put off the TV, you need to stop playing and just go and read the Bible and meditate upon it. Remember, it's not just about getting the knowledge, but it's about getting to know the truth. Mm -hmm.